It appears the Arizona Coyotes know exactly where they're going to play their games next year, inside a brand new, state-of-the-art, 5,000-seat college arena. Steve Nielsen got a tour of the building in progress and what will have to happen for the Coyotes to play there at ASU. Steve. Yeah, you guys, I actually have a little bit of helmet here, hair from uh, wearing that hard hat on the construction tour. You know, the Coyotes playing here, it's a temporary solution. Just three years, they say, but it was a needed solution to keep the Coyotes in Arizona. Arizona State's athletic director sits alone, taking in the multi-million dollar hockey arena under construction. But now, it won't be just Division I hockey played here. The NHL Coyotes will call this home next year, too. Knowing that we're going to be celebrating with the Coyotes, that at least they can temporarily make their home here, uh, it's, quite, it's quite humbling. Yeah, I mean, did you ever think when you were building this that this would also be home to NHL hockey, too? You could have never fathomed that. They came together quickly. In just a few weeks, the Coyotes needed a home, so they called ASU to see what would need to be added to their under-construction arena. Coaches' rooms, training facilities, all the things that are necessary for, uh, you know, game day. $25 million in additions for the 5,008-person arena. For NHL, that's very small. Coyotes president Javier Gutierrez says moving to Tempe gives them access to new fans. You think about the East Valley going further south, going further east, uh, it gives us an opportunity to really tap into uh, that incredible growth. The team hopes it's a temporary step before building an NHL arena they want in Tempe, but that's still under discussion. ASU says when the Coyotes eventually leave, the additions will help them attract hockey regional tournaments and much more. Whether it's gymnastics or it's wrestling or something else we haven't even imagined yet, this just increases the potential for us to leverage this asset. Grateful that the design accommodated being able to, at least on a temporary basis, house NHL here with the chance to, very frankly, help save professional hockey for the Valley. And the anticipated completion date is in the fall. So it's not just going to be professional and college hockey that's going to be played here. Youth hockey will also have games here.